Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today we are going to be applying a vinyl to this s'mores box, which is so cute. Um, but before we do, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I totally appreciate all the support that we can get. All right, so this is what we have here. Um, this is from Target, and you can see it's pretty big. I'm gonna open it up so that it's a s'mores kit, basically. Um, it only comes with the box, but then you have to supply all the food that's inside. So. Here's the latch, it's super cute. You can fit a whole bag of marshmallows, a whole box of graham crackers, and a whole like sleeve of Hershey Kisses, or Hershey's chocolate bar. So it's just, it's just so cute. I think it's the perfect house, like a, when you go over for a house party, um, a play date, whatever, and you need to bring something, I feel like this is the perfect thing to bring. Um, well, and of course you need one for yourself because this one is my daughter's. So I'm going to close this back up so you can see what that looks like. It's got the handle. It's very sturdy. So it says s'mores, Hershey's, Hershey's, and then the back, the name. So um, this is glitter vinyl, gl glitter adhesive vinyl, and then I have the chocolate dripping on the marshmallow. I wish I had more of a white. So I went with the silver or the gray. Um, it's cute. I think I would have liked the white of the marshmallow, but all right. So we're gonna put this aside. We're gonna do another one. We are going to a play date tomorrow. So I wanna bring this and where did I just? <laughs> oh, I have it right next to me and I, I didn't see it. Okay, so on this one, you see it's the same, but it hasn't been um, personalized yet. And you can see in here. Ah, oh my gosh, there we go. Same thing. I love it. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is let's weave everything. So I love everything glitter, um, but glitter vinyl, if you don't have a sharp blade in, you, you have to do everything to make sure that it cuts well so that you can weed it. Um, and I'll, so when you are putting it on your mat, you need to make sure you use a brayer and make sure that it's completely down. Otherwise, it's not gonna cut cleanly and you're gonna struggle. It's it's tough weeding it when it's not good. Um, let me see, and I'm, I'm gonna have to waste this. So let's weed the first one. This is the chocolate um, drip. <laughs> and the design space tutorial is up. So you'll see that. And so you can see when it does cut well, it's easy to weed it. It's not difficult when you have a good cut. I can't stress that enough. Like I've thrown away so many before. So speaking from experience, um, this font, oh, see, you can see right now it's, it doesn't want to let go right there. So I'm just gonna help it a little bit and see what is going on here. Okay, I'm gonna cut this off so that I'm not dragging everything. And then I'm gonna lead from the other side. That's, you know, that's just the way it is. And you see this one? I can tell from behind that there should be a piece right there. So let's see if I can figure this out. It's starting to get difficult and it's sticky. You can see there's the piece that's sticking to my palm right here. Let me put that aside. All right. I don't even know how that's supposed to go. We're just going to continue and see. For whatever reason, it didn't cut as well on this side as it did on this side. And it's kind of hard to see, so I don't even know. I'm gonna bring this light over to see if I can get a better view of this, okay. I 
And <laughs> now you can't see anything. All right, and I move it over. Almost, we're almost there. Okay, there we go. And I think I got everything. All right, so we've got the chocolate drip. Let's do, hopefully this one will be easier. And I can see on this one where the line is. So I'm just gonna cut that off. We can reuse this. Now, when you buy glitter um, adhesive vinyl, uh, from Cricut at least, it does come with a different transfer tape. This transfer tape is only good for this, okay? If you happen to use the, um, oh, and you see how it, like it's, it doesn't wanna let go for some reason right there. Um, if you use that strong glitter, strong, strong grip transfer tape for things that are, that don't need it, you're not gonna be able to release your material. So, um, just, just be warned. <laughs> um, okay, for whatever reason, it didn't cut well along the edge of the C, but it cut well enough that I can kind of pull it off there. Okay. And two more pieces to weed out. So we've got this, we're gonna apply it right now. Before we do, I wanna make sure that this surface is cleaned. So I have my rubbing alcohol right here. Just gonna put a little bit on my napkin. I want this to stay for a long time, so um, the other tip that you need to do is after you clean it and you apply it, you let it sit. Don't touch it. Don't wash it. Don't do anything for three days. Let it cure. Let it, let it really, the adhesive stick to everything. So, um, we're going to do that. Okay. Here is the strong grip transfer tape. You will know because it's in purple and it will say it, but the difference is the purple. The gray lines are the regular ones. And I don't know if I have any, I don't have any right here. So let's do our first one. Let's put down Caleb. Move this to the side. Okay. Make sure that you have your scraper so that you can um, get the letter to really stick to the adhesive tape so that the transfer tape so that we can transfer it onto our s'mores kit. the first part of the letter it doesn't want to it doesn't want to stay on there so I'm pulling this back basically on itself and try not to touch the whole thing okay flip this over I want to make sure that every square inch of this adhesive is being pressed down onto the s'mores kit box. I want this to stay on forever and ever. <laughs> and I want to do it while this while this paper is on because I don't want to scratch my my glitter vinyl. So so good okay let's put this this down um i 
I don't think that the B is gonna line up, but we'll deal with that afterwards. The chocolate drip on the B, that is. Do the B first. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, again, I'm gonna take this and make sure the chocolate drip is on the letter B really well. Okay, I'm gonna put this aside. Let's do the rest of this. this off because the C is not lining up properly. I have it kind of touching right here, so I'm just going to pull that off, get this down. Okay, and then gently remove this because the transfer tape wants to pull off the glitter vinyl still. I'm like, where did the C go? We never put it down. <laughs> All right, here we go on the C. We've got Caleb down with the chocolate and it's gonna be so cute. All right, I hope that was helpful. You can kind of see uh, the, the glitter vinyl is a lot of, I mean, it's just so pretty to work with, but it definitely has its moments. And so just patience and no, you know, I would not wanna do this if the pieces were super small. Like think of like a ton of small polka dots that would be really hard to do on this one. So, you know, anytime that I'm working with glitter adhesive vinyl, I think about the design itself and um, how intricate and delicate it is and then knowing that it's gonna be tricky to apply it. So, all right, comments, questions, let me know. Can't wait to see you on the next project. Thanks guys.